Ladies and gentlemen, I am John Kufour, former President of the Republic of Ghana. On the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the founding of the International Program for the Development of Communication within UNESCO, I send you my warm felicitations. Some 72 years ago, the United Nations General Assembly adopted and proclaimed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The resolution that adopted Article 19 of that document included the declaration that, and I quote here, everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers." End of quote. And to give meaning and force to this noble idea, 40 years ago, UNESCO launched the International Program for the Development of Communication. The IPDC gave itself a mandate to, and I quote again, strengthen the means of mass communication in developing countries by increasing technical and human resources for the media, by developing community media, and by modernizing new news agencies and broadcasting organizations, end of quote. I must, with great appreciation, commend the IPDC that over these 40 years, it has, by and large, succeeded in carrying out this mandate. I bear testimony to this by the cooperation that the IPDC has had with the media in my own country, Ghana. Over the years, the cooperation between IPDC and the media in Ghana has yielded enormous dividends to the extent that Ghanaian media freedom is a showcase for what should pertain, especially in the context of a developing and emerging democracy. The media in Ghana has contributed immensely to the vibrant democracy and the sustained development that Ghana has achieved over these last few decades. They have contributed to unearthing corruption and malfeasance in government and society. The ongoing emergence of an editorially independent media sphere in Ghana is one of such achievements. Undeniably, the necessity for a vibrant and free media to check governance, to ensure accountability and transparency from the governors to the governed, and for the stability and sustenance of good governance cannot be overemphasized. That is why the media have, described, have been described as the fourth state of the realm. When truly independent and objective, they reinforce the maxim that, and I quote, democracy dies in darkness, end of quote. Indeed, a truly independent and pluralistic media can be described as the oil that breathes accountable and responsive governance. UNESCO's work in supporting the development of communication through the IPDC is thus not ended. It must redouble its efforts in keeping abreast with and even be ahead of both technological and human resource development. This is also why I am supporting a group of venturists with a shared vision in the globalization process to launch a project called the Africa Public Interest Media Initiative. This is designed to create new digital partnerships to revitalize and regenerate Africa-driven media content with a public purpose and make it as widely accessible as possible 
through reimagined state broadcasting and other media outlets. This initiative is fashioned as a collaborative to bring together the private sector, civil society organizations, and reform-minded government initiatives to help transform the Africa media sector to work in the public interest and across the continent. Also, I support the International Fund for Public Interest Media Projects, a new initiative that is being sponsored and promoted by the BBC Media Action, the Illuminate Organization, Chatham House, ABN Holdings of UK and Africa, and other similar international institutions. The initiative is designed to mobilize needed resources to address the market failure of the old media establishments and as a vital vehicle to prevent the extinction we are currently witnessing of credible media and to find fresh financial models that will empower independent public media to sustain themselves into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I congratulate the IPDC for chalking 40 years and urge it to aspire to achieve a more exciting and even more fruitful next 40 years for the betterment of mankind across the globe. Thank you for your audience.